Lemmacats NetExec and Windows Server 2022. Hello and welcome to this hacking video. My name is Ed. And in this video, I want to demonstrate how to use NetExec, which uh, you might have known as CrackMapExec. And I'm going to be using the Windows version of this. Uh, obviously, it has limitations to it versus the Kali Linux one. But I wanted to show you how you can dump the hashes with Mummycats using the version that I have, and then take the hash and we can dump the NTDS file at the end using the hash from Mummycats. So I ran this initially because it takes a couple of minutes to run. Uh, this is a lab environment. So first of all, note, I have permission to hack this lab. I own it and at the end of the day, if I break it, I am not damaging anybody's environment. I'm not breaking any company's environment. I'm not exposing data to the internet. So running this, you can see that I'm looking for the administrator account. Now, obviously, I've got other accounts, test accounts, user accounts, etc. But what I'm interested in is the administrator account with the NTLM hash that we're going to be using here, which I'll be showing you shortly with NetExec how we can get information and pawn the systems. So if you run uh, Mimikatz, uh, this version I'll show you is from September 2021. Uh, it's quite old, but it still works on Windows Server 2022. Uh, I was running it with a crack map exec. Um, on the Windows version, but the Windows version is very limited with what you can do, and it was giving me Python errors, so I switched to NetExec. Now I have NetExec open here, and it's similar to or almost the same as CrackMapExec in a sense that the name is just different when you start it. This is obviously a Windows environment and not Kali Linux. We're still going to be pointing to the protocol we want, so whether it's uh, SMB, FTP, SSH, WinRM, etc. I just put in the entire subnet of my lab and then the user administrator and the hash. So you can see it's a capital H. If you put the small h in it, it'll make it a help bar or bring up the help bar. Running this is actually pretty straightforward and it's actually very quick. So if I had to hit enter here, it takes a couple of seconds to launch. And as you can see, the systems are pawned because this administrator account is the domain admin in the environment. Now, as this is a lab, we obviously haven't gone through reconnaissance to try and get an account to elevate it. Uh, and I have been playing with other accounts and seeing the different responses. And this one worked where crack map exec would just come up with a complete Python script error here saying that values are missing, even though I can add every, every single value there is for it to add. The next step that we can do is, and many people will go to SAM, you want to dump the SAM information, and this actually will extract the hashes, as you can see. And it takes a couple of seconds. And then it's done. So there we go. We can see we've got an administrator account, the guest account, a test account, etc. Now I want to dump the entity yes file. So I'm just going to scroll up because I already was playing with it earlier. So instead of using hyphen hyphen SAM or whichever, whichever other option you want to use, I want to do this. And it says it's going to take a while to run. It asks you for permission. And then it pretty much goes and dumps everything for you. So you can see here it says uh, dumping the NTDS can take a while to grab a Red Bull. And this machine is not the most powerful. I mean, it's two CPUs, 60 gigs of RAM. It's, it's pretty quick, I think, to crack it. And as you can see, it started to grab the um, the first account. There we have our information. 
we can obviously take this offline if we want to go and crack this now this is a lab so the passwords are really easy pretty simple they're fictitious um, it's nothing complex uh, i don't have the machine to go and try and crack a password that's 50 characters long with all the special cases etc in uh, which will time out if you run hydra um, if your machine is not strong enough but there you can see running mimicats on windows server 2022 and then taking the hash from mimicats and then we can do different options with it to dump the information that we want to run now this is a windows version i didn't want to um, bring up Kali because I wanted to try and play with Windows, especially if Kali doesn't have access, which it doesn't, to this environment. So the next best thing was to use Windows, and it pretty much gave me the information that I wanted. So just a quick overview, Mimikatz is still working on Windows Server 2022, obviously uh, Defenders disabled for demonstration purposes, and NetExec is also a pretty cool tool to use if you want to use it on the Windows version and see how that works out for you. Thank you very much for watching.